Sharks. A nonfiction by Jolly Phonics. Let's explore the fascinating world of these incredible ocean predators. Sharks have been around for a very long time. They can be big or small, and they come in lots of different shapes. Many sharks are shy and harmless. Only a few sharks will attack a person. The body of a shark is smooth and long. Sharks have strong tails that help them swim quickly. Denticles. Their skin has thousands of little scales. These scales are called denticles and they all point to the tail of the shark. They will rip anything that rubs up against them. Sharks have lots of teeth. The teeth are different shapes, according to the job they have to do. Some are sharp and pointed and some are flat for crushing things. Sharks have several lines of teeth. If a tooth falls out, another one fills a gap. Surfer Turtle Seal Sharks do sometimes attack surfers and swimmers. This could be because the sharks think they look like the seals and turtles they normally eat. Look at the shape of a surfer, a seal and a turtle from underneath. The fin on the back of a shark is called the dorsal fin. It is this fin that you think of sticking up out of the sea when you think of a shark. One of the biggest fish in the sea today is a shark, the whale shark. It can grow to 12 meters long. A whale shark does not have any teeth. Instead, it has filters to catch plankton. It swims along with its mouth wide, and the plankton float in and are trapped. Whale shark Remoras There are often black and white striped fish swimming by the whale shark's mouth. These are called remoras, and they help the whale shark by eating small animals off the body of the shark. Sharks have very good senses. They can smell food from a long way away. They have sensors on their snouts that pick up electrical signals that other fish and animals send out. Hammerhead The hammerhead shark has a very oddly shaped head. No one knows exactly why the hammerhead has this shaped head. It swings its head from side to side to sense the things around it. Sharks have to keep swimming or they sink, so they have to swim all the time, even when they are asleep. The biggest shark that ever lived was called Megalodon. It lived a very, very long time ago. No one knows exactly how big a megalodon was, but it would have been enormous. Megalodon Some sharks, like the dogfish, lay eggs. The outside case of the egg is leathery. The case attaches itself to seaweed by twisted strands until the egg hatches. Mermaid's Purse You often see them lying on the beach. 
Sometimes they are called mermaids' purses. Thresher. The thresher shark has a very long, curved tail. The tail is as long as a head and the body together. It flexes its tail from side to side as it swims around a shoal of fish. The fish end up in a tight ball, which makes it easier for the shark to catch them. The wabigong belongs to the shark family. It has frilly bits of skin hanging across its mouth. It lies in wait on the bottom of the sea, and when animals and fish investigate the frill, the wabigong snaps them up. Wabigong. It is difficult to see it on the bottom because of the pattern on its skin. Rays belong to the same family as sharks. They are flat fish with wings, which they flap as they swim along. Stingray. The stingray is so called because it has a poisonous spine or sting on its tail. Hammerhead sharks hunt stingrays. The poison in the stingray's tail does not affect the sharks. Man is the shark's biggest enemy. Some beaches have nets put around them to keep sharks out. Lots of sharks are killed in the nets. The sharks get tangled in the nets and drown as they cannot swim. Men kill many more sharks than sharks kill men. Thanks for diving into the world of reader. Sharks with us. Don't get left in the shallow and stay tuned for more fantastic content by liking, sharing, and subscribing to our channel.